Mercedes reveal is 56 inch long hyper screen infotainment display. Now this artificial intelligence interface gives drivers and passengers their own separate infotainment screens. And if in its first coming in the EQS EV, and honestly, this looks epic. This is just awesome folks. Take a look at this. Now Mercedes Benz has revealed the inbox hyper screen and infotainment system set to first appear on the forthcoming EQS electric sedan. The hyperscreen is actually three screens, a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, a 17.7 inch infotainment screen, and a 12.3 inch screen for the front passenger. Mercedes-Benz is not sitting out the revolution in screen technology. As proof, the latest part of the automaker inbox infotainment system lineup is the hyperscreen just revealed ahead of the CES Virtual Technology Show. It's a three-screen setup that includes a screen for the front passenger stretching across nearly the entire dashboard for a total screen span of 56 inches. The setup will first appear in the EQS Mercedes electric sedan that is coming this spring. Now, it's curving across the dashboard. The hyperscreen uses the updated version of the Inbox infotainment system first introduced in 2018 in the A-Class. It uses artificial intelligence to adapt the infotainment system to the user needs and habits featuring a zero-layer interface, meaning the user can reach features without having to scroll through the menus or use voice commands. Instead, important apps are always available on the screen within the driver's field of vision. Mercedes says, so, and for instance, if a driver regularly calls someone at a particular time of day, the system will prompt them to make a call to that person at that given time. Or if a user raises a car using the air suspension at a given location on a regular basis, such as a speed bump or driveway, the system will learn that behavior and do it for the user. This is just straight up epic, folks. This is a passenger side. It's cool how it's like, you know, how it smooth even with the air vents and it won't be until the inbox hyperscreen appears in the EQS that we'll be able to see how the hyperscreen fits into the cockpit of the vehicle but from what is shown today it gives the EQS an infotainment system to match its powertrain and folks this is just straight up epic let's take a look at that wow this is automotive reviews thanks for watching remember like share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.